Hey YouTube, you know what really sucks is having to admit that you're terrible at something. And I don't mean just a little bit bad, but god awful at something. And being okay inside with saying, you know what, I'm not very good at this. Because there's going to be things that you're good at, and there's going to be things that you're not good at. Whether that because you just don't know what you're doing, or you're just not built for that. So let's talk about being comfortable with being a beginner lifter again, or just being a beginner lifter. If you're brand new to the fitness uh, world and, and this is the first time you've ever really started getting into lifting, you're gonna be a beginner lifter. You don't really know what's going on. You don't know form and range of motion and you have to be comfortable with yourself to learn proper form and range of motion to stave off injury, make progress, so on and so forth. Being a beginner is what you are. But if you're more of a advanced, intermediate, beginner intermediate, or somewhere along those lines, sometimes you have to be a beginner again. You have to take a step back, right? And learn how to do things properly, which can be kind of an ego check. I'll use an example. So recently, uh, I started adding power cleans and uh, squat cleans back into my routine to work on my explosiveness. And I'm bloody awful at them. Um, embarrassingly so I mean I if you ask me to pull six wheels off the ground I'll pull six wheels that's fine it's easy well no, it's not easy but I could do it right you ask me to power clean 225 I'll do it but I'm gonna shit my like my guts out uh, why is that because I'm not good at them because I don't have my form and range of motion down I have to hammer that in I don't have enough hours under the bar doing power cleans to be good at them right so I gotta take a step back, check my ego, and work on form and range of motion before I can hope to do anything bigger than that. And it is kind of an ego check. Uh, there's a girl, a uh, woman, she's a woman, at my workplace. She's a CrossFit competitor and a nurse. And uh, we were chatting one day and, and I was like, oh, I'm working on my power cleans again. You know, I, I let them slide and I really need to make sure I get back on them. She's like, oh, what do you power clean? And I was like, ah, I can do like 245, but it's not, you know, that, I, that great. And she's like, I do 265. Keeping in mind, I'm a 220 pound male and she's probably 145. And I'm sitting there going, yeah, I'm not super good at them. I gotta learn. And she's like, okay, well, do you maybe wanna come to my box one day and I can teach you how to power clean? She's like, I know it's a, a complex movement. Maybe maybe if you just had somebody who's, who's better at it teaching you, it would help. So I was like, oh shit, that, I'm gonna take her up on that because I'm not good at them. And I don't know anybody at my gym that's good at them. So if I could have somebody sit me down that's 145 pounds doing 265, probably can learn a thing or two, right? So I have to be willing to just be a beginner again, right? I don't have problems with deadlift squats, bench, or overhead press. Though That's my wheelhouse. That's what I do. That's what I love doing. But so complex movements, I suck at them, right? So I gotta be a beginner again on this movement. Now, think about this analogy. Remember the first time you went to have sex? Right? The very first time you had sex, do you think you were really good at it? Probably not, right? And even if your partner said, oh no, you were really good, it was a lot of fun, you probably weren't very good and it probably wasn't that fun, but that's okay. It's the first bloody time that you ever did it, right? Give it a couple years, start working on your form and your range of motion, get a couple more sets and reps under your belt, and all of a sudden you're a stallion. You're making porn stars look at you for advice, right? Same said about lifting, right? But you go on to a new sexual partner, new girl, new guy, whatever it is, no judgments, it's on you. You're probably not gonna be that great in bed, right? You gotta learn each other's like eccentricities and movements and the things they like and the things they don't. Why? Cause it's new. So you gotta be a beginner again. Give it a couple more times, working on your form and range of motion, all of a sudden sex is awesome. Same with lifting, right? That's the best analogy I can think of when it comes to becoming a beginner again and willing to step back, check your ego, and be like, I know I'm not terrible in bed, but I'm not, I'm not awful, but I need to work on things so that I can please my partner a little bit better. I know I'm not terrible at power cleans, but I know I need to work on it to get better form so I can move more weight. That's about gig, guys. Be willing to be a beginner again. Be willing to admit you suck at something and you suck hard because you're not always gonna suck at it. And once you take the ego out and you're willing to say, okay, like to yourself or to somebody else, teach me, I want to learn, man, world's your oyster. You're gonna start destroying weights. And that goes for absolutely everything from power cleans to back squats to deadlifts to any ollie lift, to any power lift, to any movement period, right? 
you know, uh, that's about it, guys. Food for thought, things to think on. Um, don't let your ego get in your way. And always be willing to be a beginner again because that's how you're going to succeed at life. We're not always going to be the best at it, right? Sometimes we need to learn. Post questions and comments down below. And as always, guys, eat like a bodybuilder and train like a powerlifter.